go. Hi, fencers. Welcome to the 14th uh, Fencing at Home with Barbara Advanced Fencing. 14. Number 14 was Johan Cruyff. He had it on his soccer jersey for the uh, Orange League Dutch football players. And talking about football players, this has the, uh, the agility to, to take the ball in control, uh, look at your opponent, what he's doing, to, uh, but it's more like a teamwork. And now we're going to do like uh, for the attacking, attack, when to attack. Depends all on your opponent. You attack when your opponent, like say, is uh, uh, changing line, the weapon hand. Yes? When I change line, you could go make your attack because I'm not a threat to you. This is when I'm coming to you, then I'm a threat. It's for different. And when I say attack, I mean uh, I will be explicit with the uh, the the coup trois. Coup trois is a direct attack, one straight line. That's the most easiest, difficult, but also the the most beautiful attack. Because remember, you have uh, supporters, and they will see that, and they will cheer you. So you try to uh, stay calm. Don't mind the supporters, but do your, your thing. Okay, the when to attack is uh, when the opponent is changing his uh, or her, uh, changing the line. Yes. When the opponent, like say, is not paying attention, when the opponent uh, is not focused. Like say, if I miss my eyes, is to you, but if I look there, you attack. Why don't you attack? That's because it's, uh, it's your, you have a, a legitimate uh, um, um, a moment to attack. So use that as an attacking. That is what, that's the second one. When an uh, opponent do a, a, a poor uh, implementation of, uh, of his uh, action, like, um, uh, like doing an awkward uh, advance of an awkward retreat, you attack. Which means these three uh, items already. You mean you have to be very focused. That's why you're trying to be focused also. You focus, stay alert, and stay good in your posture. That is the uh, the, the the third, and the fourth is uh, like say the opponent will try to make a a, a faint attack. Yeah. Uh, a faint attack is, is what fences use a lot and uh, I recommend to use a lot of faint attack. A faint attack would be like with, uh, like you're doing like a, an advance or you're doing like a retreat but you don't actually carry out the uh, advance of carrying out the retreat. You are, uh, you are provoking your opponent to make an action so you could go for that action. That is your intention to to provoke him, yes. I will say him of of uh, you just say him, but when I say him, I mean all fencers. Eh? It could be her also. Just uh, bear with me. That is uh, the that is the fourth, yes. And the uh, the, the the last one is uh, maybe there are more like when the opponent is coming back to the hangar. So the opponent is then off balance, but you are in balance because you're always focused. Right. Then it's a good moment to make your attack. And again, the coup trois. Does it mean the 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 the, the and the straight attack coup trois means from A to B, one straight line. Bam. Yes. Okay. Now the you have the fencing always change. You have the World Cups. European Championships, but usually on the, uh, on the, uh, the World Cups, a lot of tactics are going to be uh, looked at and changed. So, what is important also for to carry out that attack? Your distance. You have to be able to carry out an attack. An attack taking, uh, ending with a, a thrust. 
ending with a score for you. Yes, an attack is with uh, continue with your point threatening the opponent and deploying your 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 your, your fencing arm, deploying your front fencing arm, and at uh, and we're resulting with a, a rapid advance or a launch. Yes, that is uh, a next uh, point there. Your mobility with uh, feet and uh, legs. Yeah? It's like uh, lots of uh, fences wants to, uh, to, 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 to engage your blade. Then you, you change the line. You, you go from high to low. Yeah? So you change your line, but again, the distance, take care with your distance. Yes, yeah? so if you have a, a good distance, you have time to make a, a direct attack. If the, the offensive in the uh, first uh, one, when you make attack, when you make an implementation of a, uh, a, a wrong uh, 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 action, uh, implementation for, uh, for my um, uh, Dutch fencers. Uh, so een slechte uitvoering, een slechte uitvoering van een uitval, een slechte uitvoering van een pas voorwaarts. Ja, een slecht, slechte uitvoering van uh, aansluiting uh, met het ijzer. Uh, de, een slechte uitvoering van een uh, kring 6 bijvoorbeeld. Hè? This implementation, back to English, implementation is, 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 a, is a poor carried, poorly carried out advance retreat. Uh, circular six. Be aware of your action. Be aware, conscientious of your uh, position. Never look at the. Uh, it's a tip also. This is different. What I'm saying. Uh, never look away. So I'm being distracted. That is the uh, the unit that's, that is uh, giving the score. Do not look at that. You have a referee. Say like a, a bear there. It's, a, it's, it's not a bear. It's a mouse. Say that's the. Uh, that is the. Um, the referee, the referee say halt. So you focus with your ear to the referee, and the rest is focusing at your opponent. That is eyes distance, uh, just like I'm standing to you now. This uh, sitting, uh, focusing. Okay, we will come back to that in a later uh, um, uh, edition of the the virtual tutorial. What is also important is, uh, yeah. The, you really try to get engagement of the blade, yes, because uh, uh, usually in the first round you just go to five points for the, uh, for the uh, junior fencers, four points, three minutes. So you have uh, really few uh, t uh, a time to score. So you have to be really alert and focused. Is my distance good? Yes, but that you train in the fencing hall with the teacher, yeah? all going over that, being conscientious. And after, when you finish training, then you go to play. But uh, uh, again, that is very important to uh, be aware of. And what you have also is, uh, um, um, I say the coup de war, because that is the, the, I advise that to do, but of course you have to train like a, a compound attack in Dutch is a samengestelde aanval. Is a samengestelde aanval is meerdere beweging om jouw tegenstander, weet je, jouw tegenstander te manipuleren of te, of te voor de gek te houden. Ja, voor de gek houden. Samengestelde aanval. Yes, a compound attack. It's like going to the inner line, but you want you want to hit in the outer line. You go to the inner line, and you go to the outer line. You go to the inner line, and the opponent goes to the inner line, and then you attack in the in the outer line. Yes, and that we have again, like say uh, the uh, if it's, if it's just stand there still, like you have the different uh, position where you could hit. But we come there to that in the next line. But just. In and out. Yes, this is my hand, this is my outline line, and this is in. This is high and up under the desk, so it's under my arm there, but it's low. Yes, so you could uh, dissect your attack by 
misleading your, your opponent to change line. And what uh, is a, a good uh, point to attack also is to frequently use uh, the feint attack. Feint attack is the most powerful weapon, I say weapon, tool to mislead your opponent to make an attack. And again, be conscientious of your yourself. What you doing? I am in the right hand guard. You, is my uh, is my is my hand guard good? Is my uh, uh, compound attack uh, uh, correct? Is my coup droit straight enough? Is my outside line closed? Is my inside line open? All, all the things you have to be. You train it, and it come uh, gradually as a one uh, percent. Um, you don't have to think anymore. It comes like a second nature, a second nature of your of, uh, fence. And all these is like a sixth sense, what you will uh, develop by practicing and practicing and practicing. So again, uh, when is the, uh, the right moment to attack? When the opponent is opening the line, that is one. When the uh, opponent is uh, relaxed, not focused, that is two. When the opponent is uh, a poorly carried out uh, uh, advance, that is three. Uh, a short feint attack, is a short feint attack. Yes, that is uh, di different as a, uh, uh, a poorly implementation of uh, a net offensive action. And the last one, maybe there's more, coming back to the anger, because then the opponent is not, is, is getting back from, a, uh, in, from uh, one position to the next position. And uh, the character of, uh, of fencing is that you are able to uh, uh, visually, just looking, uh, calculate your distance, keeping your, your mobility of your, your arm and your legs continually moving. I will show that a bit uh, some of the day just now, uh, that you could see uh, going back and forward, the mobility, blah, 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 back and forward. Yes, this is also. Uh, a good uh, use to, to do that. Really going for the blade. If your opponent goes for your blade, as you, you go, you, you, you move away the blade. I don't know if he sees by, by a pain, as soon as, like, say, the, uh, the, yeah, you got a, a bottom out, a bottom out, does he beat your blade? Your, your first reaction is to make a thrust to the, uh, to the gloves, right here, bam. Closest point, bam, this here, bam. So you stand there. Yes, and uh, uh, limited variation com compound uh, 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 attack, Samuel Sel the Aanval, you use that very little. Of course, you, you, you do that if you, uh, your friendship is not uh, that uh, more, uh, has much uh, experience as you, then you could use that. But again, do not as underestimate any fencer. All fencers are po potential. You just have to uh, engage their arm and you get like a false error and you you uh, you go uh, uh, you make a point a false point they, they get a point it's, uh, it's pretty. Uh, use uh, frequently the uh, faint attack now, that was it for this uh, brief theoretical there's more but this uh, want to share this with you it was on request so uh, thank you for your uh, attention
Stretched one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. In front, do it with me. This okay. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Hang from the to the floor. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Close. Turn to the ceiling. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Stretch, lie low, wrist loose, wrists in each other, and just roll. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Other way around. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Just loosen up your wrist, loosen up your shoulders, slight. Remember, fencer, you stand up straight, your posture, stand straight, breathe out of your belly, nose in, mouth out, breathe in, nose in, and with your mouth, you breathe out. Always try to keep the opponent really don't give him no sign what you're going to do. Try to be always the element of the surprises on your side. Yes, okay, just roll, kick, 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 kick a bit. There's a dynamic uh, lunge. You know, you have the lunge that you, you step out. Yes, good. And you step out, now you go down with the knees. Up, back up, step out. And you use the arm. Let's you see my right arm, right feet. Left correction, right arm. Left feet. Oops, that was a mistake. Yes, and switch. Yes, see my left arm, right feet, and back, and step, and good, and step, and good, and step. Now with this exercise, it's good to have a good shoes, and good, and step out. Slightly good, and good. Left feet, right arm. Remember, oh, that right. was the wrong one. Yes, you saw what I did. Punch. Yes, right feet, right hand. It's supposed to be the opposite. Good. Good. There it is. Good. Thank you for correcting me. Good. 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 Oops. Good. Good. That's it. Usually, it is. Good. 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 Relax. Good. Good. Kick. Good. 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 Knee joints together. Let's rotate one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Now the other way around. Yes. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Attack. As a fencer, you uh, uh, focus at your opponent. As your opponent uh, makes a wrong move and out of balance, then you attack. That is not cheating. No, it is nice. Just you are focused and the other person is not focused. When you fence, be a sportsman, but take every point what you can take. Yes? And after you finish fencing, the mask is off, and then you laugh and you give your opponent uh, uh, a salute for now. Yes? You salute. Okay. If you're in an hangar and the opponent is going to make an advance, yes? You see the feet is going up, but you don't look at the feet. You just, you just focus and you see that as soon as the feet is lifting up and it goes boom then you make your attack 
out of balance, standing on one feet, then you make your attack. How to make a, a, a different attack also is with, with bouncing, bouncing, going up and down. Yeah, distracting your opponent. The opponent uh, uh, cannot figure out what you're doing. And that's very, very annoying. For you, you take, have patient. When you're fencing, you are uh, very patient. Do not go in the flow of the opponent. No, fence your own, your own bow. Yes. You dictate what is happening. surprise for you is the fencing distance very that you that you could make a hit yes are you you either you uh, you you want small yes again small if I have I switch my blade for a uh, a, a, a pay and not the uh, foil so you notice that yes you look the ladder where I am and I'm just here and this it is the attack is I could make a faint attack with, with my body. If he don't do nothing, yes, his and his, his his blade is not tracking me. I make the attack. Yes, this is good. Good, good, good. Okay, good. And it's a good distance uh, for a distance. It's time here. Okay, good, good, good. Okay. Yep. There it is. Good and bounce. And this is just what I want you to do. Bounce and hit. Yes, yes, and hit. And don't pull back in your arm. Just there. And you let it there. That's okay. And not. Okay. And not. And not. And not. And not. And not. There it is. And not. Yes. I do before. And hit. Yes. Four goes And hit. This is it. And not. That's it. So coming back to the, uh, the subject. When it's the right time to attack. Keep it simple. Gradually, when you do this often, you will get more uh, uh, technique and you'll use that. But you don't have that. For foil, it's the same also for the uh, as the epe up on the convention. So if the opponent is attacking already, then you do. You do parry, take blade, beat his blade, repost. Yes, you have to beat the blade also very well with your middle against his or her uh, set one third 
of the blade. Yes? Bam, bam. So you go get it. Okay, this is it. It's good, it's good. This is it. See, keep track. Point goes your, your blade. Point, you change your line. And when you change your line, if the opponent is coming, don't be scared and do this. So you will hit. So if you're scared, you don't know what to do, you lean back and you point and you come again. Yes, keep it there. Because you lean back, uh, he makes an attack, he comes to short, and you just say, voila, merci. Yes, we leave it to that. Again, fencing is very, it's not complicated, but you have to make all these action seems simple. Just keep it simple, train, train, train. Of course, bouncing costs a lot of energy, but if you do all those warming up, what I, uh, I let you see, the, uh, the sport exercises, the, the jumping jacks, the push-ups, the dynamic lunge, jump lunge, yep. all these will make you a very uh, compact and uh, yeah, um, in Dutch word is a harmful spell bar. Yes, you have to have the element of surprise in your package. Train, train, and train.